The first vaccines against COVID-19 have gone mostly to wealthier countries. And now several middle-income countries are getting their shots. Many come from Chinese and Russian drug makers. However, critics know that these developers have not been forthcoming with data on their vaccine safety and efficacy. Voice of America gets your report on the same. Take a look. An indigenous nurse was the first person to get vaccinated in the Brazilian state of Amazonas. The shot came from Chinese company Sinovac. Tests in Brazil found the vaccine was about 78 percent effective in preventing life-threatening cases of COVID-19 and about 50 percent effective overall. Not bad, says Sao Paulo University microbiologist Natalia Pasternak. We have a good vaccine. It's not the best vaccine in the world. It's not the perfect vaccine, but it's a good vaccine. But tests elsewhere have been inconsistent. Early data in Turkey show 91 percent efficacy. In Indonesia, it was 65 percent. The vaccine's actual efficacy is a mystery because Sinovac has not publicly released the clinical trial results. That's concerning, says Vanderbilt University infectious disease professor William Schaffner. There's an old saying in clinical research, in what we trust, all others must provide data. And we would certainly like to see the data. Another Chinese company, Sinopharm, says its vaccine is 79% effective, but it has not released its data either. All countries are welcoming the Chinese vaccines anyway at least in part because most other vaccines have been snapped up by wealthier countries. Brazil's Butanon Institute tested the Sinovac vaccine. Director Dimas Kovas says working with the Chinese company was the right move. Because if we hadn't, we wouldn't have millions of doses on the shelves ready to be used. The two Chinese vaccines were made using techniques that have been around for decades. The flu and rabies vaccines are made the same way. But that does not guarantee they are safe and effective for everyone, Schaffner says. We're sure they are effective to some degree. Exactly how effective they are, particularly in older patients, who obviously are the persons who are going to be more severely affected, is something that we'd like to know a great deal more about. Vaccines from drug companies Moderna and Pfizer-BioNTech appear to be more effective than the Chinese shots. But those vaccines need to be kept extremely cold. That makes them hard to deliver in many parts of the world, notes Johns Hopkins University vaccine expert William Moss. They're not the ideal vaccine, um, and particularly, you know, for many low and middle income countries. The Chinese vaccines are stable at refrigerator temperatures. So, too, is Russia's Sputnik V. Like the Chinese companies, the Russian developers have been criticized for distributing the vaccine without sharing test results. But on Tuesday, they published a study in the medical journal The Lancet showing it was more than 91 percent effective. That puts it in the top tier, Moss says. This is what we wanted to see. This is very encouraging, uh, I think, data and really good for the world to have another vaccine. Welcome news in Argentina, Hungary and elsewhere, where Sputnik V shots are already being given. Steve Barragona, VOA News. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.